Hello students and learners, welcome to the Brainbox Tutorials. I am Priyanka and today we will solve ICSC semester 2 examinations biology specimen question paper. First we will discuss the pattern of the paper and then we will solve the whole paper. So let us look at the pattern of the paper. Maximum marks will be 40 in semester 2 and time allowed is one and a half hours. Here two sections are there section A and section B. Section In section A uh, you will have to attempt all the questions. So uh, that is question number 1. Question number 1 has 10 parts. So one of one mark each. So 10 into 1 section A is for 10 marks and remaining 30 marks is obviously from section B but there you have a choice. You will have to attempt any 3 questions out of 5 questions given. Okay. So that will be for 10 marks each. So total of 30 marks, 30 plus 10, 40 marks paper. So let us start with section A. Question number 1, subpart 1 is a muscular wall is absent in and we will have to uh, choose an option. So it is a multiple choice question. Muscular wall is absent in capillary, vein, venule or arteriole. So the correct option is capillary. Number 2, the outermost layer of meninges is pyometer, arachnoid layer, grey matter, dura matter. So, the dura matter that is number D. Part 3 is tear gland is also called number A gastric gland, number B lacrimal gland. Yes, lacrimal gland. Tear gland is also called lacrimal gland. Number 4, which one of the following is not a simple reflex? Cuffing, it is a simple reflex. Blinking is simple. Eating is not a simple reflex. So, number C. Number 5, loop of Henle lies in number A, medulla, cortex, uh, pelvis or ureter. So, number A, medulla is the correct option. Number 6, the pigment that gives color to urine, number A is hemoglobin, no not hemoglobin, number B chlorophyll, no, number C eurochrome, yes this is the correct option, number C eurochrome. Number 7, the number of spinal nerves in humans, uh, number A 12 pairs, number B 23 pairs, number C 31 pairs, yes 31 pairs is the correct option. Number 8 is the mineral element needed for the functioning of the thyroid gland is sodium, no, potassium, no, magnesium, no, iodine, iodine is the correct option. Number 9, the part of the brain concerned with memory, concerned with memory that is cerebrum. So, option number A is cerebrum, this is the correct option. Last uh, part, part 10 of question number 1 is the pigmented circular area seen in front of the eye is iris. Number A cornea, B lens, C is iris. So, iris is the correct option. So, now let us do section B. Section, in section B, we will have to attempt any 3 questions. So, question number 2 sub part 1 is explain the term tropic hormone. Now, what is tropic hormone? Tropic hormone means such hormone which stimulates other endocrine glands to produce their specific hormones and most tropic hormones are generally secreted and produced by the anterior pituitary gland. Now next is give one example of a tropic hormone. So you can give example of TSH that is thyroid stimulating hormone or you can give example gonadotropic hormone that is GTH gonadotropic hormone but you will write the full form of the hormone. Now number 2 give the location of pericardial fluid. So pericardial fluid is the fluid situated in the protective covering pericardium of the heart. Next is what is its function? So its function is that it lubricates and reduces friction in the heart. Third one is given below is the diagram of a human blood smear. Label the parts numbered 1, 2 and 3. See this is number 1. Number 1 is red blood capsules that is RBC. Number 2 is neutrophil and you will also write that it is part of WBC. And number 3 is a platelet. Subpart 4 is give the biological terms for the three ear ossicles. 
So, the three air ossicles are malleus, incus and stepis. Now, question 3. Number 1 is mention two structural differences between an artery and a vein. So, here are the structural differences. There are two columns left side artery and right side I have written vein. Number 1 is artery have thick and more muscular walls, veins have thin and less muscular walls. Number 2 will be walls are elastic in artery, walls are non-elastic in vein. Number 3 this is an extra one. Arteries have no walls in their inner lining and veins have walls in their inner lining. Number two is where is bicuspid valve located? So, bicuspid valve is located in the heart between left atrium and uh, left ventricle. What is its function? Bicuspid valve ensures unidirectional flow of blood from left atrium to the left ventricle. Now question number 3 is draw a neat diagram of Malpighian capsule and label any two parts. So this is the diagram of the Malpighian capsule and you will have to label any two parts from this. See uh, this part the shape, uh, wrench like shape is Bowman's capsule, then inside that is glomerulus. So, these two parts you can label. Question number 4 is define the term excretion. So, the process of removal of chemical waste from the body is known as excretion. The next question is which are two main organic waste present in urine? The two main organic waste present in urine are urea and uric acid ok now moving on to question number 4 question number 1 in it is name the substance that initiates blood clotting so the substance which initiate initiates blood clotting is thromboplastin you can also write thrombokinase Two names for same thing. Okay, now next part is what is the mineral element essential to form a blood clot? So, the mineral essential is calcium. Question number two is give the exact location of adrenal glands. So, adrenal glands are located above the kidneys in the abdominal region. Number three is mention three functions of adrenaline. So, first function will be it increases heartbeat. Second function is it increases blood supply to the muscles and third function will be more glucose is released into the blood by the liver because of adrenaline. Question number four is what is the contraction phase of auricles called? Contraction phase is auricular systole. And next part is name the two valves that open during this phase. So, during auricular systole, one valve which opens is bicuspid valve and second one is tricuspid valve. Now, question number 5. How are cytons and exons arranged in the spinal cord? So, cytons are in the grey matter and exons are arranged in the white matter in the spinal cords. That means cytons are inside and exons are outside in the spinal cord. Now, question number 2 is we cannot distinguish colors in dim light explain giving suitable reasons. So, see uh, color vision or ability to distinguish colors is a characteristic of cone cells and cone cells are stimulated in bright light that is why we cannot distinguish colors in dim light.
Now number three is given below is a diagram depicting a defect in the human eye. This is the diagram given. Answer the questions. Number A is give the scientific term for the defect. Here the rays are meeting before the retina. That means this is myopia. And number B is mention one possible reason for the defect. So two possible reasons are there. Uh, you can write any one. Number one, you can write the eyeball is lengthened from front to back. Or second one is uh, the lens is too curved. So you can write any one of the reasons. Number C is what type of lens can be used to correct the defect. So the lens will be concave lens. Question number 4 is what are hormones? So you will write hormones are secretions from specific cells or glands in the body which are carried out to all parts through blood and their effect is produced is in one uh, specific target organ. Then name any two hormones secreted by the pituitary gland. So you can write growth hormone GH. I am writing the short form but you will write full GH growth hormone or you can write TSH that is thyroid stimulating hormone. Question number 6 part 1 is from where the following nerves arise? Number A optic nerve. Optic nerve arises from eyes or you can also write retina of eyes but it is okay to write eyes. Number B is auditory nerve. Auditory nerve arises from ears. Okay, number two is give the full form of the following abbreviations TSH that we have been writing it for two answers TSH thyroid stimulating hormone and number B is ADH ADH is antidiuretic hormone. So, anti-diuretic hormone. Now, question number 3 is, what are the three main parts of the membranous labyrinth? Three main parts of membranous labyrinth are cochlea, utriculus and seculus. So, we will write those three parts, cochlea, utriculus and seculus. Okay, this is last part. A table has been given. The table is from hormone chapter, endocrine gland chapter. Three columns are there. One is name of the gland, then name of the hormone secreted and third column is for effect of over secretion of the hormone. Now complete the following table by filling in the blanks A to C. So A, B, C blanks we will have to fill. Number 1 is pancreas gland, hormone secreted will be insulin and effect of over secretion of in insulin is hypoglycemia. Then next part is thyroid gland, so hormone secreted is thyroxine. And effect of over secretion of thyroxine is exephthalmic goiter. So with this we have come to the end of this biology specimen paper. The paper was very easy as you can see. So you will go through the question answers and practice important topics of biology semester 2. I will bring up more solutions to more specimen papers soon. So if you have liked this solution, please give a thumbs up and share with your friends. Do subscribe my channel, The Brain Box Tutorials and keep learning, keep preparing. Bye bye, Jai Hind.